what's up? So today, as promised, I'm actually on every time. Wouldn't be a stream with me if my phone wasn't going off. Hey, you're live. No kidding phone. Okay, so today, as promised, we're gonna do the dragon egg soap mold. Um, if y'all saw my last video, I told y'all I'd either do it Friday or Saturday. I figured nobody would show up yesterday because it was Black Friday. So everybody's being like, I'm gonna go shopping, which is fair. I just stayed in bed all day, so that's a, that's a good day for me. Um, I've never done this, so this will be my first mold. So we have this Easy Umu 30. I looked online, this is about the easiest like silicone you can honestly work with. And then of course, the dragon egg. This was like so tedious. I honestly didn't expect it to be as tedious as it was, but we got it done. So this is all hand sculpted, hand laid scales, and this is monster clay. Hey Lisa, how are you? How does he mold the hedgehog look great? Thank you. <laughs> it really does look like a hedgehog. I feel like the head's gonna pop up and it's gonna start hissing at me like a true hedgehog. So everything we need for this build is right in front of me. So I have a knife. I decided to work with this red five millimeter craft foam to make a mold box out of. Figured it'd be good enough. Um, the silicone, of course, hot glue to hot glue the foam together so that there's no seeps. You wanna definitely make sure it's all done. And then I got a cup to mix my silicone in. Cause it's a two part mold. Hey Dale, how are you? Yeah, I was just like, uh, I got a stream. Well, cause the guest room is actually being used as a guest room. So it was pretty difficult to get everything set back up. Cause most of my stuff was like, all my video equipment was in the closet and I'm like, everywhere. Oh, it looks so cool. I'm excited. Oh, there's actual instructions. Yeah. And my mom's in here with me. She's sitting next to me. So we got a full house. So this is the Umu series. This is all the information on it. So there's no vacuuming, no scale. So a lot of silicones, you have to do a vacuum form on it because it gets all the bubbles out. Uh, you can use a different method, but it's not really recommended. You can mix it up and pour it from a high height and it'll get most of the bubbles out, but you'll still get a quite a bit of bubbles. I've never done a mold before, but I've watched a lot of videos on it, so. So. It's a two-part mold, mixed by viscosity, um, pot life. So I got 30 minutes to work with this stuff. So once I start mixing it, I got 30 minutes to, you know, have everything done. Hi, Lori, how are you today? I'm good. I um, actually got up at a decent time. I got up at 9.30. That's like a new record for me because uh, we've been up really, really late. <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> Mom's just like, Look, someone's like, hi, mom. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but I'm great. How is everybody doing today? Did everybody have a good Thanksgiving? And Black Friday, did y'all go broke? Safety. And eh, we don't need safety. What? I don't do safety, mom. I got... I'm excited. Okay. I'm going to put the silicone up. If y'all want to check this out, just go to the Smooth On website. Put that all focus. Focus. I hate my camera. You'd think this close. It'd be like, oh yeah, I need to focus. There we go. So y'all go to this website. It has a lot of good tutorials. It tells you what each silicone is mostly used for. And it's a really good website. Um, I actually ordered mine off Amazon. It was a little bit cheaper because the shipping was pretty, pretty bad. It was like $15 shipping. I was like, nah. Uh, our microwave freaked out, kept running with the door open and tripped the circuit breaker. Fun times. Whew, that sounds rough. That sounds rough. Dang. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, so let's grab it, Sharpie. I 
I'm gonna give it a good amount of room. Let's do about, do I have a freaking ruler? Hey, in that middle drawer, I have a metal ruler. It'll be funny one day. <laughs> yeah. Much better. Cause I don't want to waste silicone, but I definitely want to make sure it has enough room. Mm, too close. There we go. Okay, so here's the bottom of the box. I'm assuming I can just continue cutting. I've never been good at, I've never made a box before. I know it sounds pretty simple, but I'm like, I don't know, I've never made a box before. cut it down if I need to. So I'll just make it as long as this is. So y'all get to watch me fumble and probably make a lot of mistakes. Side. Yeah, this is the bottom of the box, and then I'll probably cut it down because it only needs to be about that much higher than the egg. Oh. But this needs to enclose it. I've never made one before, but I'm like, I'm assuming it's easy. I had too much coffee. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm sweating and shaking. It's like, caffeine overload. My knife is slightly dull. So we're getting caught on my eyelashes. I'm like, I hate that feeling. Okay, so this goes here. This goes. Wait, where does this go? I'm assuming like there. I don't know. No, I think this goes here. Yeah. This was just an extra. I don't do well with like regular geometric shapes. It doesn't really work well. <laughs> Never been one for like shapes. I'm like, oh yeah, I can do this. It's easy. I'm like, no. Oh. So far. 
honestly, it's a good thing that Zach bought this, like, crappy red foam. I told him to go get me foam, and he comes back with, like, a little bit of black, and, like, mostly this fire engine red. I'm like, do you know how much Plasti Dip or spray paint it's gonna take to cover this crap? Like, too much. More than it's worth, and I'm like, Okay, so essentially it's just gonna go like this. Of course we can cut it down. Yeah. Things will be good. Mm. Probably my box fits together. The dubstep's annoying me. <laughs> Breaking my concentration. I can't deal. Okay. Okay. So I don't get any hot glue or silicone on my desk. I'm gonna use this. put the glue stick in there and I was like oh, okay I wonder if this will be easier if I held it like this possibly because I didn't get a can of compressed air. So if you're gonna do this, if you get a can of compressed air, it'll dry the hot glue like instantly. I just never buy it because I'm just like, why would I buy air? <laughs> like I just have a weird like thought process about buying air. the bane of my existence. to the beach in a few hours. 
That's awesome. I'm definitely jelly. I love going to the beach, but I'm landlocked. I'm landlocked hard. Well, I hope you have a great time, Michelle. Almost dry enough or cooled down enough for me to let go. Mm. I forgot which is which. I guess we'll just figure it out. Actually, before I start doing that, thank you. Well, what are you making? I'm making a mold box for this egg to sit in and get a mold around it. I might have made it just a bit small though. You know what I can do? If I need a bigger space. Just use this bigger side. I'm a boss. So it just needs to sit in here and then I'm gonna enclose it and then I'm gonna fill it full of silicone and then once the silicone cures, I'll be able to rip it off. What's up, dear vet? How are you? Okay. What? streaming please is Zach in there oh. somebody needs to do it I don't know Somebody else could do it. It's all good. How about yourself? I'm great. Just attempting to do all of this. I'll have to put that one on top. And this can go here. I can connect about there. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Is I holding this one? That one was like really nice. Okay, that's all nice and slightly cooled down. Obviously pretty bad at working with hot glue. <laughs> Okay. There's hot glue everywhere. I hate the smell. 
smell of hot glue. It reminds me of my very first costume because I had to like hot glue everything together. I used hot glue and super glue for my first costume. I super glued like all of the like pieces together, but I hot glued like the Velcro to it. So like I had segmented leg armor with like small Velcro that like I it all Velcroed in the back and it layered. It was um pretty rough. <laughs> But it held up. I, nothing broke. Which is really surprising for a first costume. Usually somebody's first costume, especially if they don't know what the hell they're doing, uh, or looked up any tutorials or anything. I got a silicone spatula from the dollar store the other day, so I wouldn't burn my fingers holding things in place. Works like a charm. Nice. Yeah, that makes sense. That's actually a good idea. Cause I always burn myself. Go ahead and pull that down to tad. And I weirdly like packed all of my hot glue like I had a whole package of it and I don't know what possessed me but I was just like oh I don't need this for a couple months I'm like yeah I do you dumb Lauren just like why you do this I do a lot of tiny work and fat fingers get in the way too also helps with that. I think everybody has like fudge fingers whenever it comes to something tiny. It's like, no. No one else is that either. I'm not in the mood for music. But I gotta make sure I don't play anything that'll get me in trouble. That works. I can handle this. Okay, I need a pair of scissors, just one sec. I figured I could trim it after I was done. I was like, oh well, that'll be good. I thought Zachary took a shower today. Well, he's in the shower now. The man takes a longer shower than any girl I've ever met. Like, I'm not joking. <laughs> Like, he takes longer showers than I do. I'm like, I have long hair almost down to my butt, and I shave and everything. And like, he just watches YouTube in the shower. I'm just like, that's a waste of water. It's an entire waste of water.
Yeah, I like this one. I feel like I'm making a hedgehog house. Like, straight up. Let's put this here because it's something heavy I can brace this against. And fill it full of hot poop. Mom, your daughter is a craft queen. <laughs> of course you are. Yeah? Of course I am? Mm -hmm. Hey Lauren and everyone else. What's up, happy pills? <laughs> Thank you. I'm just like... <sighs> it's a changing of the seasons too, and I'm allergic to something new every season. And it's always in the air. I'm just like, <sighs> allergies. <laughs> if you're gonna do this, get a can of compressed air. This is boring. <laughs> Howdy, happy. <laughs> How are you doing today? exactly like watching paint dry so I'm waiting for this to cool down enough so I can quit touching it and then I have to do another one did you have a good shower huh? <laughs> what did you have a good shower yeah. oh god your lip looks bad Twitch for whenever I stream exclusively, but I'm like, I don't think I've once streamed exclusively. <laughs> Cause I'm just like, screw it. If I'm streaming on Twitch, I'll just stream on YouTube too, whatever. Just for the hedgehog, though. <laughs> he was looking for that thing. Oh, um, right. Well, actually, I, I brought it downstairs to show Aunt Kelly, and he was like freaking out. He thought it was the hedgehog. Oh, um, just letting you guys know, um, our hedgehog was safely um, given to a friend who already has a hedgehog, so he has a good home. And thankfully, I don't have to take care of him anymore. <laughs> Who's the worst pet I've ever had? Like, the worst pet. 
It's just a cage dweller. It's a house dweller. That's all he wanted to do was sit in his house. He's like, screw you, human. Unless you have a worm, you can't touch me. <laughs> oh, you want to touch me? Needles to the hand. <sighs> you know? No more Teemo, which is actually a really good thing to be honest. Like we didn't play with him enough. Plus, I mean, it's not like he was just like, oh yeah, play with me. Why did you get a hedgehog as a pet? You know, that is a wonderful question. I couldn't have a dog and I finally convinced him. I was like, well, it's a hedgehog. It stays in a cage and they're cute. And uh, I did a lot of research on them for a couple months before. I, I didn't just go out and buy a hedgehog. But I was like, this could be great. Because I saw a lot of, um, nobody really tells you, hey, it's like needles to the hands. And um, they're mostly grouchy all the time instead of happy little things. And they don't really like to be held or played with. They just want to live in their house. Like, people don't tell you that part of having a hedgehog. Or at least I wasn't told that. Even like multiple websites I went to. But it was a bad idea. <laughs> right, but why a hedgehog as opposed to a rabbit? Um, you had a rabbit. I had a rabbit as a kid and he was an asshole. Was a complete asshole. I named him Peter Cottontail. I was so original. And he fell in love with mom. <laughs> yeah, he liked mom better than me. Can hear you better on Twitch. I don't know. I have my microphone almost all the way up. It's a nice microphone too. It's a Blue Yeti. So I, I don't I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, I didn't like rabbits. I didn't want a ferret because ferrets stink. Turtles stink. You had a ferret. I had a ferret. So far it's two out of two. So you have, so how many pets have you had that were assholes? A lot. I'm just so unlucky. I'm just like, just let me love you and take care of you. And there's like, no, we hate you. We don't like you. I'm like, <laughs> It's true! <laughs> Mom, the ferret was an asshole, right? Yeah, I kept stealing your pacifiers. He kept stealing my, my shit. And he made a nest under my bed. Yes. And then the rabbit just kept biting everybody. It was a litter box train one, and then it was just like, screw you, I don't want to crap in the litter box anymore. So he just started like going everywhere, and then we had to put him in a cage, and then he was mad about that. If mom didn't pay complete attention to him, he would nip. Yeah! He was a jerk. And then we had that like horrible Pomeranian that ran away yeah. after it, yeah, it bit it. us. He was a rescue dog though. I don't remember much about him. I just remembered I hated him. Well, you loved the pug. I liked the pugs. The pugs were good. But I mean, what's not good about pug? You liked Riley and Sadie and Snowball. Yeah, all dogs. She liked all dogs. Yeah, I like dogs. Like dogs that actually want to hang out with you and want to spend time with you. I'm not good at like non-dog animals. <laughs> Rabbits are just a bad idea. And then you had stalkers. What happened to the pug? I mean, they were whenever we were kids, so they just got old. No, we had the, the tornado come through. And remember... Oh, yeah, we had and to get rid a, of them. And a friend of ours was uh, one of them. Mm. We were so tied up. Yeah, so I forgot about that.
But I mean, and poor Toto, right? Well, I mean, he didn't die. We just were, I mean, like our house got hit by a tornado. We had other priorities other than our dogs. So we just got rid of them. Somebody that actually wanted them. Which, I mean, we wanted them, don't get us wrong, but I mean, we had a lot of stuff going on. Oops. Close enough. Hmm, I don't know. Might have been eaten. By flying monkeys. Or maybe the villagers, cause I mean, they didn't know what the hell he was. Probably never saw a dog before. Probably like meat. eventually I'm not allowed to have a dog so I'll just wait till I can have a dog I don't like cats either I've never had good luck with cats ever how many cats have I had two more than two Seagull and Stalker Tomicky yeah I had, and then um, I had an outside cat too and then Zach had Shadow I hope you that you have better luck with boyfriends than you do with pets. <laughs> that, that, that's a thing. I do. I have a good boyfriend. Yeah. I kind of treat him as like, like I would a dog. He's potty trained. He's potty trained. Well, I, just, I snuggle up to him like a dog and I pet his hair. He's like, you're so soft. Zach is like my um, scapegoat for a dog. Like, I can't have a dog, so I'm gonna pet you instead. Somebody face palmed. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame him. I hope you don't tell him to roll over and play dead. I mean, it's not a bad idea. We can do tricks. <laughs> don't, I don't judge if you put a collar on him though. <laughs> That's hilarious. This is probably the most like hot glue covered mold box anybody's ever seen. And then I have to seal up the edges and everything. It's like... And hi mom. <laughs> Hello. It's Scar Mooch Boy. It's fair. It's a mer. I successfully made a box. This is this is revolutionary. I made a box. What's the white stuff? Hot glue? It's in the box? I'm hot gluing. The 
Gloob. Are you gonna cut down the taller side? Yeah. I just don't want it to leak, but I have more glue on the freaking bottom of the box than I do anywhere near a freaking seam. Yeah, it's just hot. I found more glue sticks because one was not gonna do it. But it's still rather annoying. like the board person. It's taken me 40 minutes to do this. I've been gluing this damn box together for 40 minutes. Okay. Yeah, because it's taken freaking forever. It's not like I could be like, hot glue cool down. It's not instant like that, which it was. My life would be a lot easier. Silicone's getting out of there, damn. The first side I did sucks. <laughs> yeah, I thought the. Sorry, I had to go AFK for a bit. You're good, no problem. Usually people just, um. You know, craft and hang out. Just watch him from a distance. And I can kind of see that. It kind of does look like Elmer's glue before it completely dries. I 
definitely don't want no leaks, so I'd rather be safe than sorry. Ever seen chopstick holders? Yeah, I have a couple. rough if I ever saw a box as bad it's pretty rough that might work better for a glue gun stand that way it doesn't drip ever anywhere um it could but I don't know I've used this lid for forever so close enough I guess material is the box it's just regular five millimeter craft foam you get at like Hobby Lobby or online Amazon never made soap before I'm assuming that it has to be waterproof um it's a soap mold so I'm not making soap I'm making what you make soap with so hey what's up river so essentially this is gonna this is the master mold so silicone is gonna be poured around this in this box since the silicone is gonna be liquid it needs something to hold it in there. So I'm gonna pour the liquid all around this. And once it's cured, I can just cut open this box and then pull the silicone off the clay. And I'll have a hard silicone mold that then you can pour soap, resin, candy, whatever the hell you want in it. That answers your question, I hope. Hey guys, thanks. Yeah. I'm just trying to get some of the extra like little things out and then I'll start mixing up the silicone. I'm 
Well, of course, like, this is my first mold, so I've never made anything like this. So I guess we'll just see how it goes. Um, I got the trial kit. So this is $30 worth of silicone. It's a two-part mold. Okay, I think the, I have a 30 minute pot life with this, so I have, I definitely have time. So, I'm gonna start with, whatever, I don't know. Well, first I'm gonna make sure that the egg fits in the box correctly, that might be smart. Yeah, sometimes making molds is interesting to me. It's like creativity with double negatives. Right. <laughs> yep, yeah, I think that fits quite well. And we made a box for the hedgehog. <laughs> Terrible One says hello. What's up, Terrible One? How are you? How was your holiday? Dun, bun, bun, bun. Okay, so now we're gonna mix the silicone. part A thoroughly before mixing with part B. In that second drawer right there, could you hand me another um, stirring stick? Was there no stirring sticks in that top drawer? No. The second drawer? Whatever that is on Zach's face. How about no? Okay. Six ounces in here. Are you going to use a bigger container to combine? Yeah. You'd have to. I don't know what to mix it in. You want to see if Nana's got plastic in there? Yeah. Step one, read the instructions. I already read the instructions. Oh dear, imagine creating a mold with Zach's face and making a life-size chuck of soup. Huh, it's weird. Step two, read it again, right? It said to mix part A thoroughly before mixing it with part B. Kinda looks 
looks like Laffy Taffy. Made a mess. Um, last night someone went in a friend of mine's chat and went down the list and gifted everyone a subscription. Huh. This probably would have been a good idea to put on first. I mean, there's no harmful chemicals in it, so it's not like it's gonna hurt anything. But I do need another stick. like so goopy. Guess Baxter is here. Maybe around eight.
just like goopy. Like, I'm kind of disgusted, but I also really want to eat it. has a long pot life. Pepto. Ew, it really does. Don't say that. I really will barf. the blue one better it comes out more Yeah, I don't know how I'd feel with like a smaller curing time. I would definitely need like a mixer instead of doing it by hand. Cause like my hands are already cramping. Violet. <sighs> My hands tired though. Well, the problem is that the blue is very um, easy to work with. Put it on Zach's face. No. 
Not this, this is, one, terrible one. This is a chemical. It's not meant to go on anybody's face. Well, at least not Whenever this it's one. dry. Not this one. We'll though. talk. Looks like Pepto. I agree. Well, it was like very pink. And then the other one's very blue. This isn't even its final form. Contrary to popular belief, Terrible One, um, I do not get things on my face whenever I eat. And no, Lauren did not put turkey on my face yesterday or the day before. It's quite interesting. Don't tattle. <laughs> More on me telling on me. <laughs> the quality content that Terrible One subscribes for. <laughs> Putting things on my face. A dragon egg drop soup today? That's clever. Hey. That's real clever, Krim. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, some guy named the Dragonborn came up and was like, hey, make some egg drop soup with this dragon egg. And we're like, I ate. <laughs> Proceeded to Fusro da the pots out of the house. I think that's probably about good, almost. Won't be long. You want to definitely make sure that the whole thing is mixed together very, very well, or the whole thing won't set up. Doesn't look like it. Might have to mix up another batch. You know what one of those little spatulas? What spatula? Those little cute ones from last week. It'll ruin it, Mom. Oh. It's a silicone. I need to buy special equipment just for, like, utensils just for this. Yeah, I should have done a whole cup. I was like, this should be enough. Rest with cement. <laughs> Terrible one. It's like trying to get all the cookie batter out of a freaking tub. Yeah, I'm gonna have to mix up another batch. I wasn't too far off though. That really sucks.
think I'm gonna go fade into WoW now. Alright, see ya. Thanks for hanging out. Mold is a lot harder than it looks. I hate this song. Deal with it. I think it's weirdly entertaining. She listens to literally nothing that can't be considered troll music. I guess that's fair. Are you saying I'm a troll? Okay, I gotta get going. enough of this crap so I gotta mix up another batch I could have just kept it in the cups for a while. I'm quiet, I'm in a hurry. <laughs>
you doing today, Brett? I mean, like, I'm, like, right up in it. <laughs> Title butt is now a follow. <laughs> Interesting name. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Good things. Just woke up. Got your notification. It's 6.40 a.m. here. Woof. Yeah, it's definitely early. <laughs> Hope I didn't screw this whole thing up. Bubbles. One hell of a chemical reaction. Go to Australia. I want to pet a kangaroo. I want to touch it. Every time I'm like, I want to pet a kangaroo, everybody's like, yeah, until they bounce up on their tail and kick your ass. I'm like, you know, it'd be worth it if I could touch it. <laughs> I just want to touch it. I've never touched one before. That and elephant. I want to touch an elephant. It would learn to like me. Well, I think next time I'll definitely know how to eyeball this a little bit better.
my window looking at birds and she's freaking out. Uh, we have plenty of parks so touching and feeding kangaroos and koalas is easy to arrange. See? See? Koala. I want to touch koala too. Yeah, I don't... It's a uh, Nightcore waiting. Um, I don't have it set up through auto DJ. Sorry. I wonder if I need a little bit more. Cause I think that's the top of the egg. It is. But it's so thick. I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pour a little bit more. Damn, this takes a lot more silicone than I thought it would. It's almost took $30 worth of silicone to make. I'd rather be safe than sorry. silicones like a lot more than I thought it would how long does this take to dry um it'll take six hours to cure fully so it'll be an all-day process messy process but I just want to make sure because that's the top of the egg and that unsettles me very much so like my first mold kind of sucks that are I really suck at it binds to itself. I don't know if it fully has to cure to fully do that or if it's okay to just keep adding more silicone on top. I guess we'll find out. Of course I've never done a mold before so this is a whole new learning process. This stuff just doesn't have a very long shelf life as it is. So, what did you use as a release agent? You don't need a release agent with a silicone. You learn by doing. Yeah, you do. Seriously. This is like a really rough process. I didn't expect to suck this bad. Yeah, well, I mean, I've watched tutorial videos on essentially what I'm doing. And I was just like, oh, yeah, I can do this, no problem. 
like, okay, it's a little harder to do actually doing or than actually just watching. Cause it seems like common sense and it's just like, no, nope, this is hard. But then again, I've never been really good at eyeballing like how much I need. Like same with fabric, I usually overbuy fabric, which is okay. I like fabric scraps. This is like a very easy silicone to deal with. Of course I want to tr work with something easy, especially for my first try. Use a blender. Mm, it's really too thick for a blender. Um, you could use like one of those handheld blender, well, uh, mixers. That probably would have been smarter, but I mean, of course you learn by doing so. I know for next time. If I could just get all of this crap out of this container. That'd be so helpful. I'm gonna buy a spatula for next time. Yeah. I mean, at this point, it's just kind of embarrassing. It's like, sorry, I suck. I just hope it all sets up properly. Okay. I'm officially covered in silicone. <laughs> And there's my mold. It's not leaking, so that's something. My hands are so sweaty I couldn't get a, another glove on. I was in a hurry, so. that off my skin <laughs> don't forget to get the air bubbles out it will sit here and bubble that's the chemical reaction um you can't exactly just get the bubbles out it'll bubble itself out with this mixture you don't need a vacuum um, thingy my bob for this you don't need a degassing chamber for it this is just a very simple, easy silicone, so. 
You don't need a scale. You don't need... It's just an Umu brand. It's very, pretty simple. Just shake the mold a bit to get some of the knots. That's what I mean. Yeah. Gotcha. I usually just tap it. That's what I've heard to do. I honestly don't care all that much. I, I'm just happy that I have silicone in a box. <laughs> Close enough, right? Um. Alright, so this is going to take about six hours to cure. I probably will start a, I, I don't know, I might let it sit overnight, I'm not sure. I'll show you guys the finished mold whenever it's all done, but of course I'm not going to sit here. What's next on the craft schedule? Shake the baby, don't shake the baby. Um, on the craft schedule, well... This was the only thing for now that I really needed to do. All of my costumes are basically finished. So either I need to start a new costume or... Which I was trying to think of which costume I want to make next. But like I'm just also trying to be cost effective with um, material costs. So I like, I just made Dark Elmo's Lux and she has an ice like Snow Queen. And here's the concept art for it. Go focus. So I like it, but for the crystal formation, I'm gonna need a lot of transparent Warbla and some Warbla's crystal art focus again and of course the crown is gonna have to be made out of warbla and then for her bracers those are very shiny and smooth so I don't know I want to kind of order some epsilon but this is gonna be a very expensive costume if I do it cuz I'm thinking I need I need a lot of transparent warbler for that. So I don't know if I like doing that one. I also really like this concept art for Grumpy Bear. So I thought that was pretty cool. I like the ice one more for like winter though. So. I don't know. I'm like really don't know what I want to do. Because that's quite a bit of money and that's even with that's without the wig. The wig's going to cost me about 30 bucks. And then the Warbla, it's $88 for a jumbo sheet, so what are we, we're over 100 already? Without crystal art, without fabric, without gloves, without 
her pants, staff. So it'll be an expensive costume if I decide to do it. I don't even know what that is, dude. So, I don't know. I guess we'll just see. I need to make some decisions, but right now I'm like pretty happy I made a mold. So I made a dragon egg mold. I'm happy about that. I'll, um... I'll show the finished mold whenever it's all done and y'all get a notification for that. I don't know if I'll do it tonight or if I just want to let it sit overnight. I'd rather let it sit overnight just to be safe. I'm not one that's like, okay, six hours exactly, let's rip it off. You know, like, I really don't want to ruin it because I don't have enough silicone to redo it. So, here's that. Sorry y'all got to watch me fumble, but I mean... First time, I'm pretty happy with it. And I guess we'll see how it looks whenever it's done. Thank y'all for hanging out. I mean, we're an hour and 30 minutes in. Not bad, not bad for making the mold box and mixing up a mold. I think it, I think it, I think we made pretty good time. I was expecting it to take longer, weirdly. But, all right, I'll see you guys later. My family's all here, so I'm gonna go hang out with them. So, we'll see ya.